Hey guys, this is Kartikeya Kantwal from Apex Finso and I'm back with your daily dose of charts for tomorrow's trading session. I hope uh, you had a wonderful green trading session today and uh, the expiry overall ended in green for you. For me personally, the equity was NPNL and I had a small stop loss hit on the indices. So well, uh, I took a long break and I guess that's starting to show up. I had a slightly red day today. But once again, I hope your streak is still uh, well alive and healthy. Now quickly moving on to what's new for tomorrow. Of course, but before that talking about the equity trade for today, we had two triggers Kotak Bank and uh, ICICI. ICICI gave a stop loss hit after uh, almost meeting our target and Kotak Bank gave a direct target hit. Apart from that, as I said, indices uh, personally on the red side. When I talk about the watch list trades for tomorrow, the first thing that we have is a simple structure based entry on Hindalgo where we are going to go for a long at 360 at the nearest swing point, stop loss at 355, idle targets 1% on the upside. The second trade that we have is on HCL Tech, similar to Hindalgo, we are going to go for a structure based trades, high 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 low structure, entry at the previous swing point at 1025, stop loss at 1015, idle targets 1% on the upside. The third trade that we have is SBIN. Now SBIN, we don't really have a running structure. In fact, it's a bit of a flat trading range right now between 350 to 370. So we're gonna go for a short at the nearest available supply zone at 360. Stop loss at 365, idle targets 1% on the downside. The fourth trade is on TVS Motors after quite some time. Now TVS Motors did have a nice breakdown recently of an important uh, level at 570 which was along with stunning support. We are going to go for a short there. Stop loss at 577. Idle targets 1% on the downside. The final equity trade that we have is on uh, Reliance where we are going to go for a long at the nearest available demand zone which also happens to be the swing point and the bottom uh, you can say the bottom support level for a flat trading range that we have right now from 2050 till about 1970 uh, 1975 we're going to go for a long exactly there stop loss at 1950 idle targets 1% on the upside now moving on to the indices or the index side of things talking about uh, nifty first it is again at a zone at uh, about 14 uh, 875 if this zone is sustained on the charts of course in the first uh, 15 to 30 minutes of uh, the morning session i would go for a long targeting 14950 if not i would go for a short targeting 14800 or something like that when i talk about the option chain for nifty i have resistance at 14900 with a hefty 1.9 mil uh, 7 million hourly contracts significant at 15000 with uh, shockingly you know you have a negative change in open interest but still the standing uh, contracts are quite high at 4.6 million Support comes in at 14,800 obviously with 272,000 added contracts. Now interestingly, significant support comes in at 14,700 which itself is uh, no big deal. But here again, just like significant resistance, you have unwinding of contracts. But still total standing is quite impressive at 2.2 million contracts. When I talk about the PCR of volume, it comes at uh, 1.05 which is uh, quite increasingly bearish or aggressively bearish. Uh, let's see what happens. Uh, it might be so that we have a flat opening and then we pummel all the way down till 14,750, 14,800 which can make a good trade by itself. When I move on to the second index, uh, Bank Nifty. On Bank Nifty, we have closed at a critical zone of uh, you can say around uh, 40 odd points from 32,740 till about uh, 32,800-ish, uh, 40 to 60 points. If this is sustained, uh, I would go for longs targeting 33,000. If it's not sustained under 32,700, I would go for shorts targeting 32,400. Either way, it's a 250 to 300 points trade, pretty decent. When I talk about the option chain for Bank Nifty, I have immediate resistance at 33,000 with 230,000 added contracts, significant at 33,500 with 324,000 added contracts. Support comes in at 32,800 with 59,000 added contracts, significant at 32,500 with 203,000 added contracts. When I talk about the PCR, that comes out at 0.88. Nothing uh, to talk about there, it's uh, not really special at all, it's just uh, very slightly bearish. On Bank Nifty, the option chain is inconclusive. Nifty, however, does indicate some sort of bearishness with 4900 uh, acting as a really, really strong resistance point as of now. If that is uh, surpassed, if that is, uh, you know, broken and held, I guess 15,000 should be broken, no big deal. Now this marks the end of uh, today's video. These are all the charts and uh, the option analysis that I had to share with you guys for tonight. As always, if you like the video, if you like the channel, 
do support us by leaving a like comment something nice as well subscribe to the channel and press that bell notification icon as well i hope you have a wonderful and green trading session tomorrow thank you so much for watching have a good night bye